top ClickUp workflow examples. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over some ways that you can set up your own workflows on ClickUp. So let's get into it. Now to get started, I have logged into my account and this is a free account. So you can do all of these features for free. And I am just going to go on ahead and create a new workspace. I'm going to click on add workspace and this could be so shuffle blog let's say i have a blog or a website and this is a workspace for that and then i'm just going to add a color you can click on i'm happy with so far and then you can add people and you can go on ahead and paste in the email addresses of people that are going to be working with you and then you can also integrate any of these other applications if you are using them to make sure that all of your workflow is completed. Now, I'm just going to continue on because I don't want to integrate anything. And if you have previously been using any other platform, you can also import your tasks. But now you can see I have a basic space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new space and you can click on templates over here. And you can, uh, you know, browse a bunch of different templates. So you have task management templates. These work pretty well with, uh, you know, creating your own workflow for project management or for just, you know, workflows. You also have start a social media marketing agency, planning a band, running of a show. So I'm going to go over a basic template and then we're going to begin from scratch in setting up our own workflow. So Starting off, we have a agile project management. So I'm going to click on use template and use the template as it is to show you guys what a template on ClickUp looks like. And then we're going to start building our own workflow. So I'm just going to wait for the space to be created. So the template is loading over here. I'm just waiting for this to be loaded up. So now if I go into my everything section, you can see I have this little space created and you can just click on new. Uh, or you can just click on your new space and create a new space and name it whatever you want. But in my space section, you can see I have this little section and I can click on list and I can form list directly from there as well. But if I go into my everything section, so this is like a basic view of the agile project management section. So if I click on board, I can just take a board view and you can see this is what it's looking like. So I have new requests, open, submitted, PTO, holiday. Uh, sick, rejected, pending, approval, review, to do, accepted, ready, QA testing, ready, not a bug, in progress. So all these little uh, statuses, you could say. And then you can enter new tasks within a status. And within a task, you can enter information like whether it's open, the urgency, who is assigned to this, who is watching this, a due date, estimated time that is going to take to complete the task, as well as some subtasks and uh, attachments that you can add. So this can be a little overwhelming for some people. So uh, I like to actually uh, simplify simplify this process a little because a starting off with a template although it is super helpful if you're feeling like this is too complicated for you we're just going to click on new space and we're going to name this blogs so this is going to be a workspace and i'm going to click on next and the fields that i want is going to be priorities tags multiple assignees time estimate and uh emails so i can click on show more incomplete warning dependency warnings reschedule dependency milestones sprint points so i think i just need these features and i'm going to click on next then i'm going to add the default view so i want the default view to be a board view the reason that i like to do this is that it helps you in visualizing your tasks i'm going to click on review space then you can also you know share the color and you know just customize some of the things but once the space has been created you're going to find this is going to be your basic board now in your basic board the first thing in any workflow is how you have categorized information so this workflow is maybe focusing on how our blogs are going to get published the ideas for blogs approvals of blogs and so on and so forth so i'm going to rename the first status to be so I'm just going to add this to this specific board only. So this is like my blogs board. And then we have our blog ideas. Then we have the second thing, which is going to be renamed. Or you can just collapse this column because this is like the final column. So you cannot, you know, directly remove it. So you can just leave it out for now. Then you can just go into your lists and click on add status. And you can click on your statuses over here and edit status and your close statuses can be renamed from here. 
So the final stage of my blog, my blog is going to be published. So I'm just going to do that. Then I have active statuses, done statuses, and closed statuses. So in my active statuses, I'm going to add approved ideas. Then in the next status, in progress for review. So I'm just adding multiple different statuses. And you can, you know, mark each of these with a different color. But I'm just going to add this. So currently in my blog ideas, first I have blog ideas, approved ideas, in progress, drafts approved drafts for review and then in my done statuses uh, i can go on ahead and click on the close statuses and click on add status for review then i have approved blogs and i can move this down to done statuses and give it like a specific color so this is going to be the color for approved blogs and then add a new status disapproved blogs and then i can move this down to the done statuses as well so what done statuses enable you to do is manage the things that have been completed so people are not browsing through you know a bunch of different things that might not even need work currently so i'm just going to denote the colors a little differently because i think they're all looking a little similar so i'm just going to change up the colors a little bit so this is all i need now i'm going to click on save over here and now you can see everything has been added in a very simple fashion. So we have approved, disapproved, published. So now what I can do is that whenever I have a blog idea, I can click on new task, type in the idea, recipes, whatever it might be. So blog post on how to write a good essay. And then I can add descriptions as well. And you can do slash as well to, uh, you know, integrate some other embedded features. So you can embed other items as well. Then you can also create subtasks within a task. Now this can be super helpful once you move something from one section to the next. And in the approved ideas, when someone approves your idea, they can also, you know, enter subtasks and be like, hey, for this idea, you should do this, this, and this. So this can be like a really good way that not only are you managing your workflow, but you're also improving the work style that you have. Then in your specific task, you can also enter the assignee. So let's say I'm supposed to be working on this and you have your time tracked, you have your due date as well. So let's say once something gets approved, the person that is approving it can also enter due dates. Then they can also uh, edit tags. So you can also create tags and add those within a specific task. Now, what this is going to help you in doing uh, within a workspace. So currently, I don't have any tags in this workspace or in this space. So I can add a specific tag and you can click on edit tags and add multiple different tags. Low priority, urgent, so on and so forth. So you can add multiple different tags and move a task in accordance. So uh, once a task, you know, once it's been gone for review, once it goes into the approved section or disapproved section, the reason that I like to have this is that when you go into your filters on the top right over here and go into the status or go into, you know, recurring or anything like that the things that have been completed won't be showing up and won't you know bother you in terms of just setting up everything so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with setting up your own workflow on clickup make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video